Hi everyone, Val from FleeSystems.com here. Welcome to my workbench. Now, before we begin, a little background on me. I'm just an electronics hobbyist who likes to design circuit boards and digital systems and that sort of thing. Uh, and the purpose of the video today is uh, to talk about one of my latest creations, fresh off the workbench, and that creation is called Flea FPGA Uno. Now what is that? Well, Flea FPGA Uno is a, an Arduino compatible board powered by a Lattice Mark XO2 FPGA. What's an FPGA? Uh, well, basically, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Uh, basically, it's a modern silicon device that contains many thousands of unconnected logic gates, sometimes millions of uh, logic gates, uh, that can be rewired by the user uh, to create, in effect, uh, their own custom digital designs. Uh, anything from a simple digital adder all the way through to a multiprocessor um, or dedicated hardwired logic system. Now, uh, which potentially a very, very cool thing, as we're about to find out. Um, now, definitely won't have the time to go through all of this um, uh, in this video about you know, the ins and outs of FPGA Tech. Uh, more information about that can be found in the links below. Uh, in addition, Flea FPGA Uno also includes a list of features that help to make the board a useful learning platform for anyone uh, looking to find or know more about uh, embedded or FPGA technology, including first time users, of course. So, today's demo will focus on, we'll, be, we'll basically split it up into two parts. The first part will be about the Arduino compatibility of the board. Uh, so, we're going to upload a few sketches from the IDE and, and uh, give it a sort of a, we're going to kick the tires with that. And um, the second part will be uh, for uh, you know, a more advanced um, custom FPGA only demonstration. So uh, anyway, we've got some fun coming up for you folks, so please stick around, thanks. For our first demo, as I, as I said earlier, uh, we're going to demo the uh, Flea FPGA Uno running in Arduino compatible mode. Now, for us to do that, we will need to configure the FPGA, as indeed we have done, with, a, with an Arduino compatible processor. And in this case, uh, the processor we've chosen is the excellent F32C soft core for FPGAs. And the reason we've chosen the F32C is because A, it's a 32 bit uh, monster of a chip, and, uh, of, a, of a processor, and uh, uh, basically it's also supported, more importantly, it's supported by the Arduino IDE as a plugin. So, and the F32C also has a whole heap of. Um, uh, peripheral options, but we won't we won't go into that now because we only we, we want to focus on the Arduino aspect of it. So, um, so basically, uh, in this case, we're using F F thirty two C uh, CPU soft core with uh, video out, uh, PS two keyboard input, and a few, couple of UARTs, including the one that we've got talking to the Wi Fi module on the back here, which we're going to run now. We're going to upload a test sketch to to drive all of that. So we can talk to this access point that we've got to the right of the camera, and um, so uh, and so once we, once we've uploaded the sketch, we'll do that now. Uh, it's uploading now, I'm grinding away, and we'll turn on our monitor. So what we'll do is we'll send a few AT commands using the keyboard, and we'll display our results on our screen now. As you can see, we've got a nice bitmap produced by the. Uh, by the Flea FPGA Uno, and we'll uh, see, attempt to, to uh, simply detect the uh, access point. So let's give that a try. Okay, let's come up with an error there. So let's, uh, let's see if we can uh, see if we can detect, see if we can find out what firmware version that SP8266 is. There we go. Let's come up with the uh, Giving us the, the details, the, the AT, AT command set version and the SDK library version. So that's all there, that's good. And let's try and put the module into a correct operating mode. Got that. And last but not least, ah, stuff that one up. Oh, again. Let's see if we can detect the access, that access point there. Success. 
Oh, hang on a sec, let's have a look. So USR dash Y five two three two dash T, which is effect which matches that that uh, the onboard Wi Fi module on the on my older Fleet FPGA board there. And uh, all good. So we've detected that and it's working great. Success. Okay, for our second demo, we're going to we're going to show something a little more advanced. Now we've got uh, two Flea FPGA Uno boards, both loaded with custom firmware in the FPGA of hardwired logic design. So this has nothing to do with the the F32C or Arduino base. This is now we've loaded these these boards with fully custom uh, logic, uh, hardwired logic. So in this case, we've got two so two separate projects actually. One is set up as a a hardwired signal generator, sine wave generator, and the other one, the one over here with all the massive wires and the prototype shield uh, stacked on it, is set up as a four channel virtual oscilloscope where we've got uh, basically the signal, uh, we've got some, some, uh, some waveforms being fed into it from our signal generator, the Flea Uno signal generator, going into, uh, going into the Sigma Delta ADC. Uh, inputs on the Flea FPGA Uno. They're being buffered, the samples are being captured, buffered, uh, stored, and then uh, sent out through to our display, which we can see here. And uh, as you can see, our waveforms look good, they match what we've got on the real uh, oscilloscope we've got on, on the left here, which is the TDS 5104, and, uh, which is a decent scope, and uh, as you can see, the waveforms look good. Around the signals that we're sending here, uh, we've got a 400 hertz reference sine wave, and the second waveform is a 400 hertz to 40 kilohertz linear sweep. So it's basically a variable frequency all the way up from 400 to 400, uh, 400 hertz to 40 kilohertz. Uh, that's about eight, roughly around about an eight second sweep, uh, and the cycle repeats indefinitely. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the, the waveforms look good. And uh, the uh, I was going to say the with the virtual oscilloscope demo on the second flea board, we've got uh, the time bases are actually all adjustable, so we can independently set the time base for each one of these channels, uh, in these four channels, which is more than what we can say for this guy over here. Um, but uh, as you can see, because this is obviously more expanded out, whereas that sort of you know, because we're, we're sort of at the mercy of the reference, uh, so everything has to sort of conform to that. But anyway, it uh, looks good, works great, and uh, we're, uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's, there you have it, folks. Uh, the, uh, a, a demonstration of two separate projects, uh, custom projects, running on Fleet Fle PGA Uno. Brilliant. Well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now, before we go, I'd like to give thanks to a few people out there. Uh, Zark of the California Hackerspace. Uh, Zark, thanks for your phenomenal help um, in getting the F F32C soft core uh, integrated with the uh, Fleet FPGA Uno. Um, and thanks for your help with that. And um, also thanks to the F32C creators out at the Zagreb University. Um, Great uh, job you guys have done with this uh, soft core with the F32C, and um, it works great, so well done. And uh, also, I'd like to thank Dave Jones of EEV Blog. Uh, Dave, uh, many thanks for interviewing me on our chance meeting at the local electronics expo here in Melbourne, Australia. And uh, what can I say? You've inspired me to finally get in front of the camera, so well done. <laughs> um, and yep, yeah, that's it. And uh, look, uh, Please stay tuned for any uh, further video updates um, and uh, more to follow. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you until next time. Thanks. See ya.